I have never seen grapes look like they do in cartoons. Like, that's pretty sick. Let me adjust my camera angle. So my friend. It's all pre-COVID knowledge, okay? One, two, three, let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's good? So today i'm going to be talking to you guys about moving into college more specifically in like the long beach area because i mean that's where i live but we're also gonna by we i mean my friend chloe hello since a lot of people decide to dorm right after high school and i didn't dorm my friend reached out to me and she asked me if she could be in the video and i said yeah i mean i don't want to give you guys false information so i'd rather have it straight from someone who actually dormed before we get started with the actual tips though the first step to anything having to do with moving in is deciding what you want to do every scenario is different some people want the full college experience and they want to dorm right out of high school other people just want to be away from all of that and they want to live on their own okay so let's get right into the dorming part once chloe explains how to move in and gives her tips on dorming i will be sharing my experience with moving into a new apartment out of high school and I'll also be sharing tips on what kind of questions you should be asking when finding an apartment. So yeah. So I know that this is Martha's YouTube channel, but I'm her friend Chloe and I'm gonna be making a guest appearance. I am completely sorry for all the noise in the background, but that's Long Beach for you. So I um, stayed in the dorms last year so I just wanted to give y'all some tips about how to move into your dorm room, how to buy stuff for your dorm room, the whole the whole nine yards. Tip number one. This is probably the most helpful tip I can give. So one thing that you're gonna wanna do, this is especially helpful if you're going to college farther away um, or if you have to take a plane. Um, my sister, when she moved to college, she we live in SoCal um, and she went to college in New York City. And so we obviously couldn't take everything with us like on the plane and stuff. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Bed Bath & Beyond, okay? And you can go to Bed Bath & Beyond, whatever one's closest to you. You're gonna talk to like a sales associate person and be like, hey, I heard you have this college deal. Where basically um, you can like scan a bunch of items or things that you like in the Bed Bath & Beyond and you want for your dorm room and then you can find the nearest Bed Bath & Beyond store. So for my sister, she was going to college in New York City. So we found like the nearest one, I think it was like in Times Square or something. They like tell the Bed Bath & Beyond in Times Square, like, hey, have this order ready for this person. So then all we did was we just took like her clothes and her personal items and stuff like that. And we went over to New York City to help move her in. And then we went to Bed Bath & Beyond and they had everything that she wanted there in an order for her like set aside and like we just went to the front desk and we're like hey we need to pick up our order and they're like all right cool i'd like to think other stores do this i don't know if they do but yeah that was incredibly incredibly helpful and i don't think a lot of people know that so that's my biggest tip honestly for moving to college tip number two so myself i didn't go far for college um and i live relatively close like i could commute to the college that i go to but I wanted to live in the dorms and get like the whole dorm experience, so I did. It was way easier for me to move in. And here are just some things where if you're within driving distance to your college and when you're moving in, and by driving distance, I mean like you're driving up in one day. Here's what I recommend. Put everything in a suitcase or multiple suitcases, as many suitcases as you need, or a box of some kind. And my friend, she's also went to like another college that's really close and she just had like all of her stuff kind of loose and it didn't really like, have a box or something and then it was way harder for her to move in just because she had to take so many more trips because she couldn't logistically carry all of it my parents and i i took two suitcases my mom took one and my other mom took one and boom we were able to take all my stuff up to my room in one trip the same works for boxes i just recommend suitcases though because you can wheel them that's nice um tip number three don't leave all your clothes on hangers do it i felt so dumb packing like that because that's like the worst packing move ever but oh my god it saves so much time boop 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 open your suitcase take your clothes put them in your closet um that's a great hack right there hack number four um when you and your roommate are moving in at the same time 
be very courteous and cautious of the fact that there's gonna be a million people in this tiny ass room and there's gonna be a bunch of freaking suitcases everywhere taking up the room and it's gonna it's gonna be a tight fit like when my roommate and i moved in um i had both my moms and myself and then my roommate had her and her dad and there was just kind of like a lot of people in the room so just try to be cautious of that when you're moving in yeah oh 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 really good hack right here really good college hack uh, number five maybe um okay so be careful what you buy before you move into your dorm room you can buy things like bowls or like plates i mean don't buy a bunch but like i bought like a bowl a plate like a couple of silverware because like you know you eat meals in your dorm i have like these cute little cubes like they're wire cube things and you like stack them all together for my dorm room but i didn't know like the dimensions of my room so i wanted to buy them for my dorm room to put under the bed because here's another thing in dorm rooms you have a lot of storage under your bed so much storage but use that so helpful um and so i wanted to get that for under my bed but i didn't know like how tall my bed was gonna be so here's what you do you have ideas of what you want like things like that like i knew i needed some form of storage you want to bring a measuring tape when you move in you're probably like what the heck why i'm gonna tell you because then you can measure things like your closet and then you can measure things like how much storage under your bed you have like how tall is your bed from the ground and then because you know the measurements you can see things are too tall like originally the cubes i wanted were too tall and they wouldn't have fit under my bed so they had smaller versions so i got that but if i didn't know that then i would have bought something that wouldn't have even fit under my bed i mean obviously things that are going to be the same for any dorm room really like um maybe like some small decorations or things like that Go ahead and buy for bigger things like storage shoe racks things like that don't buy it unless you either completely know the dimensions of your dorm room or until you've seen your dorm room and you've measured it so that's why you bring a measuring tape people also you obviously have to get bedding things like that go ahead and buy that already your dorm room will likely your dorm bed will probably be a twin xl or a twin make sure you get look this up first make sure you either get twin xl sheets or twin sheets make sure you get the right ones. Look up videos of your dorm room or wherever you're gonna be living so you can kind of get an idea of it. Microwaves and refrigerators, what are we doing here? So in my dorm, they um, actually provided them. Talk about it with your roommate beforehand. Um, a lot of people just like kind of have an extra microwave lying around for some reason, but make sure you check with your school's guidelines because a lot of them have to follow certain safety guidelines. Um, that way they don't like blow a fuse or something with the electrical. Ooh, 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 that reminds me. Get an extension cord, but make sure, um, they call them surge protectors, make sure you get that. Um, basically this means that like, if you blow a fuse, it will only shortage out the extension cord and not like the whole wall. This is mandatory in college. They insist that you get them like this, which makes sense. I mean, you don't want to blow the whole electric thing because you have too many things plugged into an extension cord outlet, but make sure that you have one because it's definitely important. So yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's it so far of my college hacks for moving in. Also, for the record, I haven't heard anybody say these tips of like things to move into, so I'd like to think they're pretty good. Yeah, that's all. All right. Bye. And by the way, I will be in other videos. Okay, this is a whole series we got going on, so watch out for it. I give Chloe a round of applause. <laughs> okay, so the first step is to just decide what you want to do. If you decide you want to move out, into your own apartment, then the next step after that is to start looking for a place to stay. So it might sound simple, but sometimes it can be really stressful. My first year of college, I looked, I think I went on Craigslist and I found my studio because it was all last minute. I didn't know what I was gonna do. I, I got the first place that I found this year. I started looking a month in advance for a place and somebody, at the CSULB office told me about a Facebook page that's called CSULB Roommate Finder. And basically what it is, it's a Facebook page and people from all over the university, either alumni or students, put up rooms or apartments, studios that they have for rent. And you find people that, that you're interested in sharing a room with or sharing a place with. And that's just how you meet your roommates. And I think it's pretty cool. I'm sure other colleges have different pages for them as well, but that's the only one that I know for our school. Something to look into is making sure that it's not a scam, making sure it's people that you would trust because you're going to be living with them. 
while you're looking for a place, don't set your hopes up for one. I did that this year and I wanted a place really bad. It was really close to the beach, but the girl stopped answering. And so that's why I recommend you guys to look for more than one place. So if you're looking, make sure you have at least two to three places. Okay, once you find one, you're obviously gonna contact the people who are renting it, but don't be afraid to ask questions because a lot of people think, oh, like what if I'm bugging them? But it's better to know what you're getting yourself into instead of later on being like, oh, I should have asked. So some things that I would ask for are parking. My number one thing is parking. I get very stressed out looking for parking, especially near the beach. And so ask if there's parking, ask if you have to pay for a parking permit. Is there street parking? Ask if utilities are included when you pay for the rent. Ask how much the direct deposit is for the place. And if you have to have the first and last month paid for is the place furnished do they have to check your credit score how much money do you have to have saved up that's something that depends on the leasing office usually you see for my first studio i didn't have a credit score they didn't make me have a co-signer and the only thing i really had to prove was that i had money saved up and i had a job and that's what i did with this place but i also got a co-signer so that it was easier for the whole process also make sure that you check what's near the apartment or studio because you want to make sure that there's stores around you or like places that you can work, hang out. Um, if you're near campus, it's better. Last semester I was 30 minutes away from campus, so I had to commute. This semester I'm five minutes from campus, but everything's online, so I don't have to worry about driving to school. Also ask to visit the place. Don't ask if you can visit, ask when, because you wanna make sure that you see the place in person. You never know if they're just making it up and they just want you to send in a check, you know, make sure it's in the right location, they didn't lie, what's nearby. Um, look everything out for yourself. I heard a tip once to visit the area in the morning and at night, because in the morning it's usually calm somewhere, and then at night is when you see like how it really is. Usually after you finish asking all these questions they'll know that you're interested and they'll send you an application through email you print it out with all your your id your information all those things and you'll take it to the leasing office where they run all your where they run your credit and all your information and then they'll call you back depending depending how fast it is so the first time that i rented a place it took them a couple of weeks to get back to me this place, they told me the same day. They were like, oh yeah, you can move in next week. So you can't really do anything after that except wait. But while you wait, you could start packing your things. And honestly, for packing, I don't really have much advice. How Chloe said, leave your things on hangers. It's just so much easier. I've made that mistake before. Um, in boxes as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Try not to have loose items. Um, if you could get like little storage units that fit in the closet if you're sharing the room It's so much easier because that's what I do Make sure all your stuff fits. Don't bring stuff that you don't need um, Oh a tip actually that I do have Decide if you're gonna be cooking or ordering stuff because some people make a mistake where they buy all these utensils to make food and then they go grocery shopping the first week but then they end up going out to eat and ordering stuff every day and it's like you let all that food expire you bought all these utensils and for what like you're not gonna use them so only buy things that you really need and are gonna use that's pretty much it i don't think i have anything else let me know if you guys have any questions if you guys want me to make another video regarding moving in and stuff i don't know if you guys want me to answer other questions maybe i'll put up a poll on instagram so that you guys can ask me direct questions and maybe I can help you guys answer them. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you to Chloe for being in the video and helping me with the dorm side of things. Because I don't know what I would do. Because I don't know anything about dorming. So thank you, Chloe. And thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And hopefully it helped you guys for your college experience. <laughs> I can't even talk. Make sure that you... Mm, pues. God, this is this is some cringy thing. I'm be like.